everywhere. I was looking for the. I was looking on the road for him. Oh. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah. Well, guys, we just made it back to the house from our trip to South Texas. Like we said, we didn't get any turkeys, but um, we did come home with two rattlesnakes. So um, one Ryan shot earlier uh, yesterday. Get around, get around, get around. That's a big rattlesnake, man. Okay. Yeah, you got him in the head. Good job. That's a good nice. On our way out this morning, we happened to find another one crossing the road. We're gonna take this snake and I'm gonna do a little skinning demonstration. If you've never skinned a rattlesnake, it's probably the easiest thing to skin there is on this planet. So we're gonna go through that today. So this is our snake. He's a pretty decent sized one. He's a little cold right now because we had him in the ice chest on the way home. But we're gonna skin him and uh, we're gonna eat this one. If you've never had a rattlesnake, it kind of tastes like uh, fried chicken jerky, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Fried chicken jerky? Yeah. Like fried jerky. Like fried chicken jerky. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant like my brain thought fried chicken jerky. Like. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I guess you could think of it that way. Like There's somebody took some chicken jerky and then fried it. And that's kind of what rattlesnake tastes like. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> you might ask why we would kill this rattlesnake. Um, the predators for one, and they have to be managed. Uh, they eat quail, and we like sheep quail, so, and we like to eat quail, so we're saving some quail and some other ground nesting birds, you know, just taking out a couple rattlesnakes out. You know, you shouldn't kill all of them, because they do serve their purpose. If you're out in the wild, most nine times out of ten, I'm just going to leave you alone. But, if you're close to camp, close to the house, we everybody's got dogs and stuff, like, we just can't take those chances. I made a little cut right here. You can see he's still moving a little bit, so like I said, this we kill this one this morning. And you want to be real easy because you don't want to go too deep. Oh. He's a wild one. <laughs> Be still, man. You're already dead. It is pretty weird to like to watch them have to do that. Like this sucker's been on ice and everything and it's still that moves that we I just cut it down the belly like this. So just right up the belly all the way, yeah. all the way up. Yeah. We're a little crooked. You just take the skin, peel it off after you made your cut all the way down the middle. And then as long as it's gonna be still, you just peel it on down. I feel like they would have been, the nerves would have been gone by now. I'm trying not to get blood all over me. You get to the end, it gets a little delicate. <laughs> that is so crazy. Oh, it would have got me. It would have got me. What, yeah, what's wild is that it's not even like random twitches. It's like it's definitely trying to still put its head toward you. It's weird. They're geared for one thing and one thing only. Look at, look at that. <laughs> all right. Come all these guts off of here. Yeah, they just come off that membrane. Pretty snake skin. Yep. There you go. There's your snake skin. 
Beautiful. Let's South Texas rattlesnake. Yep. So we'll get this guy cleaned up, get it cut up, throw his guts away, and uh, we'll finish this video when we cook this rattlesnake. Let you know how it tastes. Stay tuned. What you gonna do today? We're gonna cook rattlesnake for the first time. Well, I've had it before, but I've never cooked it before. So, we're gonna try this out. Kind of like, look how like shiny and silvery. I mean, it's, it kind of looks like chicken, like a mix between chicken and fish, man. Yeah, more like fish. If this sucker still moves now, <laughs> we, we might not eat it. It's been a full 24 hours. So we're gonna cut these ends off, maybe. There we go. Cool. All right, throw those away. We're gonna cut this up into chunks. We're gonna make a small. Oh. We've got our junior Tejos member now. He came to supervise. Snake bites. <laughs> Snake bites. Not that they're washed, we're gonna take some whipping cream, put it in there, two eggs, no shells. Mix those up. We're gonna take some flour, some cornmeal, give you a little crunch, ground black pepper, and a little bit of cornstarch. You good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you can like read the measurements on that recipe. No, we don't read measure measurements. That, that just makes more dishes. So we don't want to do that. <laughs> we just guesstimate. Take some hardcore carnivore Tex Mix, garlic powder. Just mm -hmm. trimmed it off there. That might be a little more tender of a piece. We got a lot of them to go. So you've had it. So I'm the only one that's had rattlesnake. Jared hasn't had it. I haven't, I haven't had it. So we're gonna do this. this Jared is not going to have it. No. But raw dog. So these are the boneless. Yep. Little okay. Place. You gotta break it open. It looks good. Yeah. Tastes like popcorn shrimp. Yeah, for oh, sure. Bite. Where's mine? Okay. Chewy. Here. Here. Your thing's kind of hit. Do what? They kind of slap. They kind of slap? Yeah. It's like chewy fried fish. No. Yeah. Dang, that's good. Not bad. We need to use that batter recipe for like all of our fish. That's I'm really saying, good. man. Rattlesnake, ain't bad. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it. Leave a comment if you've ever eaten rattlesnake or if you would try it. Got some rattlesnake bites.
just chewy, chewy popcorn shrimp. Pretty damn good. Ketchup makes it a little better. So we didn't kill any turkeys this weekend, but we did kill uh, two rattlesnakes. So I, cooked, so I cooked one tonight. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, oops, it's pretty good. Keep dropping stuff. Pretty good.